Yo yo people, Garrett June here for another video and this video is gonna be in flash and lights and today we're gonna be checking out the brand new unstable test branch update and this update introduces new sirens to the game by default. Now this is a request that many people have had uh, in the past we've only been able to mod sirens in and it's been quite difficult to do that. Uh, so yeah, I'm very glad to see that we now have a bunch of them already pre-installed in the game. And let's go ahead and quickly show you guys what they sound like. So, listen closely. I will stop talking for a sec so you guys can hear them perfectly fine. So yeah, hopefully that was a pretty good showcase of what they sound like, but let's go ahead and get on some calls so you can hear them actually in use. All right, guys, we just got a call to transport a suspect to the courthouse, which we will do since we are already pretty much at the location of where we'll be picking them up from. So here we go, we'll head on over. Now, I guess this call doesn't really need sirens. Um, at least we hope it doesn't need sirens because if we have to turn them on, it's usually because we are being attacked. And yeah, not ideal by any means. But here we go, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Let me first actually grab his ID, just so we know who we're talking to. All right, perfect. And then let me do a quick pat down. Now of course, he's already been pat down by our fellow officer, but always best to be safe just for protocol. There we go, uh, let's make sure he's not drunk. I don't think he is. And yep, that's all good. All right, so let's go ahead and grab him and then we will put him in the back of our cruiser. I'm actually gonna put him on this side though. Now usually we don't want him on the side we are, but I wanna make sure that he's going to be uh, safe if we do get attacked. And I think that's gonna be the best option. Now, besides for that, I want to put on a traffic vest just in case anything does escalate, we will be very noticeable so we don't end up in crossfire or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, last thing we have to do before we leave here is search database for his details, just to see if we have any kind of indication on why he was arrested. And okay, so he doesn't have a driver's license, um, but yeah, he was arrested. So don't really know much about that uh, besides the very basic details. And he was born in 1974. All right, perfect. So. We will head on over to the courthouse. Now, I believe I know how to get there without the GPS. This will be testing my knowledge of this map. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay, what are you doing? What in the world? I definitely had the, the right of way. I don't know what that guy was doing. Okay, yeah, I'll just go through this intersection as well. Uh, okay, sure. Interesting way to do that turn. And then we just go like this. There we are. Oh, you're in front of a fire hydrant. I would love to ticket you right now. But yeah, okay, we are on a call, so we can't really do anything about that. Uh, yeah, let's just wait at this light. And with the power of editing, we now get to skip that uh, wait time. <laughs> so here we go. Lo gotta love how magical editing is, right? And okay, there does look to be quite a few people here. Now hopefully they aren't here uh, for this guy. What I will be doing though is turning around and I'm gonna turn on my lights as well, just like so. All right, let's hop on out of the vehicle and we'll just, actually, you know what? I'm gonna keep my door open just in case. Let's go ahead and now get this guy out of here. So actions, grab. All right, is everyone staying put? Looks like they are. We'll just be very, very careful when approaching. Watch out for any kind of weapons or anything like that. All right, we look to be pretty good right now. So let's just register the suspect. And there we go. That call was done successfully with uh, no issues at all. I don't know why that one person's running, but we'll just kind of go with it. Okay, on to the next call. All right, guys, we just got reports of a possible drunk driver. So, we definitely want to check this person's alcohol level or the blood alcohol level. Now, 
I don't know where they are, so let's open up our map, and there we go. Okay, so they're just down the road from here. Uh, actually, pretty much right where we were for the last call. Wait, hold up. You seem to be the drunk driver. Um, yeah, I'm going to assume it's... Wait, are you both driving crazy? No, okay, we got a collision going on. Here we go. Pull on over. Pull on over. Don't try fleeing from me. Do not try fleeing. Okay, I don't know if this guy has pulled over yet or what the case is. Let's approach the vehicle. I'll have my taser out just in case. Um, okay, interact. Yeah, we're going to first grab your license registration. Thank you. And then let me quickly just do a little alcohol test on you. Now, it shows that there's still a vehicle drive. You're not drunk driving? Um, okay, we're just, uh, I, I don't want to say you're free to go. We'll give you a warning. Okay, there you go. I guess you aren't the drunk driver. We are on a call, though. I will definitely let dispatch know about that license plate, though. Yeah, okay. Let's just move on, I guess. I really don't know. That is very bizarre. Okay, here we go. Let's go to where the waypoint is. All right, so we should be approaching the suspect here shortly. And, yep, that is a vehicle. Okay, come on, light. You got to change. Whoa, 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 whoa. I am being shot at. I am being shot at. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We need to turn on our lights and sirens go. There we are. Okay. Perfect. 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 Let me get down. Let me get out my weapon. Ma'am, put down the weapon. Put down the weapon. Okay. I'm going to move closer. We'll use this wall as cover. Here we go. Here we go. Ma'am, put down the weapon. There we go, there we go, their hands are up, their hands are up. Okay, I'm moving in. I am moving in. Come on. Keep your hands where I can see them. Do not try anything here. Okay, that was crazy. Here we go, interact, actions. We are going to handcuff you. There we are, okay. And then let me go ahead and frisk you down to get this weapon away. Okay, also, that siren is getting quite annoying. I probably should have chose a different one. Okay, let me go ahead. Uh, let's just grab you. I'm going to walk you over this way. Because if you are drunk, we can check that momentarily. I'm just going to throw you in the back for now. There we go. Okay, let me turn off the siren. Okay, and we're just going to pull up into this area right over here. There we go. All right, let's see what is happening. Also, again, this call was for... Possible drunk driver reported in area. So I'm not quite sure why we got shot at by someone who wasn't in a vehicle. That is very odd, but let's do alcohol test. And you're barely even drunk. You're you're in the limit. Okay, so ma'am, you're going to jail because you shot at me for no reason. Uh, let me grab your ID. There we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and quickly run that because something is definitely up here. There has to be a reason why they just shot at us when we were approaching the area. Like, that is very bizarre. I thought it was the white van at first, but I guess not. <laughs> Let's see. 10 parking tickets. They were arrested before. They have a valid driver's license. What? Why do you have 10 parking tickets? Like, you aren't wanted, though, or anything. So, I would assume you paid them? Um. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be bringing this person to jail. No doubt about that one. Here we go. All right. Let me just turn this way. Yeah, the person really wasn't that smart. Like, we're right in front of the police station. Obviously, we were going to catch them. Even if they were to somehow take us out, if worse comes to worse, if they were to take us out, we would have backup right around the corner. So, yeah, not the smartest of people, uh, but you don't catch the smart ones, right? <laughs> so, here we go. Let's grab the suspect and we will bring them inside. Here we go. All right. Perfect. So we got 35 reputation points for that and one arrest. Let's move on to the final call. All right, guys, we just got a final call and this is for a missing person. Now, the issue is I am at the fire station. So we are going to use their pole to head on down. I was just taking a little tour there. 
And where do we run out? Here we go. Perfect. And there is our vehicle. So when we're running over, let's see where the waypoint's at. And it looks like we're going to be heading onto the interstate to get over there, which is something we haven't yet done this video, weirdly enough. So yeah, let's go ahead and get moving. Now this is going to be code two, which means we'll be going with our lights, but no sirens. So yeah, although we just got those new sirens, we will not be using them right now. Here we go. All right. And then, yeah, I guess we turn on the sirens, I believe, when clearing intersections, if I remember correctly. But I don't believe we use them at any other time. I could be wrong about that, but we will uh, roleplay as if that is the case. Okay, I didn't mean to hit you. Um, I apologize. We'll just ignore that I did that. There we go. All right, perfect. Definitely not the right siren to turn on for that kind of intersection but here we go yeah, there's no traffic there and we'll just move on past and let's get here as fast as we can hopefully not getting another collision let me see what are we looking like okay so yeah we'll be heading off the next exit sounds good all right now where do we go from here uh looks like we will be i guess turning yeah why not that will get us to the location as well. And then we'll just follow this road. Here we go. All right, hopefully these people see us coming. Um, okay, I'm just going to use a shoulder to get around them. There we go. All righty, and then this person will just use the middle since there's no traffic on the oncoming lanes. We're getting closer and closer to the scene. Come on. Or at least to the area where they were last seen. And, okay. Is that them there? Hold up. You could definitely be the person. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think you are the person. What is our luck here today? Okay. There we go. Let me just hop on out. Uh, yeah. Let me talk to this guy. So, we will go ahead and, uh, grab his ID. And that, I believe, is the correct name. Let me just double check. So, Hubbard? Hubert? Hubbard. Uh, Brooks. Okay. Here we go. Let me just quickly see. And yeah, that is you. Okay. Stop. Stop. Whoa. I did not mean to tackle you. I apologize for that, sir. That was me misclicking. Yep. Feel free to stand up. It's all good. You aren't in trouble here, even though I just did that. I will be frisking you down, though, because I do have to transport you back to the station to reunite you with your family uh, or whoever is uh, who have reported you missing because this is definitely not where you're supposed to be and we will be running alcohol tests just to double check but yeah we're all good so I'm not even gonna put them in handcuffs uh, we're just gonna quickly grab them and bring them towards our vehicle we aren't holding them too tight or anything don't worry guys we're all good here we are okay and then you're gonna be going into there Perfect. Okay, now once traffic kind of goes by, there we are. Uh, oh, you are I'm pretty sure a uh, drunk driver. That's not good. But again, nothing you can really do right now, unfortunately. So let me just check his ID. Yeah, so if anything comes back in the system from this guy, we will put him in handcuffs, obviously. But I'm assuming nothing. Um, yeah, okay, driver's license expired. That doesn't really matter. Everything else is good okay so we will close out of that we'll turn off our lights and i'll see you guys once we are at the station to wrap up this video all right guys here we are let's turn on into the station and i'm just going to quickly loop around here we go using our handbrake just a little and then we should be good to back on up just like so all right our camera is freaking out but it's all good. We can go now and grab this person out of the vehicle. Again, they are not arrested. Uh, this is just us reuniting them with their family. We're just assisting them because they were completely stranded in the middle of nowhere. Especially since this person can't even drive a vehicle. Like I don't know how they got there. But that's probably why they were reported missing. They were probably just walking for way too long. And there we are. That call is now completed.
But anyways, if you did enjoy this video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you do click that notification button, which looks like a bell right beside the subscribe button. Uh, on top of that, also check out the description to find our Discord server. That now is over 2,500 members. It is a great community. And yeah, I would love for you to join. There's also an advertising chat if you want to advertise any of your own social media pages. Just make sure to do it in the crate in the correct channel. Uh, and yeah, besides for that, there is our Twitter, Instagram, Patreon page, merchandise. You guys know the drill. Just check the description. Uh, also, our second YouTube channel is down there, GP Nation, where I do uh, vlogs. We can see a little bit about what my career is, and that is filmmaking. I make films. Right now, I'm working on a documentary. I've already uploaded the first day of shooting uh, to there, but there's still going to be another two vlogs about that. So yeah, look forward to that, and then maybe even... I'll release the final documentary once we are finished it. You guys are awesome. Bye bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.